Sportcast Podcast Network. We appreciate all your support every week with all our different shows, games on crack, the forecast, unsportsmanlike conduct, and rule reviews. It takes a lot to keep this going. I mean a lot. All right, so we got different tiers that you can subscribe to. It's going to be right here on the side. Please, please, please help us keep this going. Please help us keep growing. We appreciate it. Thank you in advance. Yeah, yeah. This is Mad Miles, also known as Fresh Ass Deuce. Also known as Broke Ass Deuce. (laughs) Miles with the hoodie today. Yo, it's Sunday. It's crack. Who that? That's a fact. And it's a smooth operator. Uncle Sporty, your favorite fucking uncle. You feel me? We back. Hey, man. We Who's back. not here? He said I was mean to him. He said I was mean to him. Yeah, he said you a different person on Games on Crack, man. So I'm, I'm not, but this I'm the forecast. Gonna... Fuck you, pussy. <laughs> Oh man, uh, we starting off spicy. Shit. Oh shit! What are everybody doing, man? Let's go. Oh, we back. Actually, I actually missed this. You know what I mean? Yeah, I man. missed this, man. It's been a minute. You know? How's it? Two. Yeah, it's well. I mean, I know y'all did the event with uh. First of the day, first of the day uh, you know, but uh, I was the not day. there. It was fire. I need to go to that, that little was fire. venue, Allegiant, right? I need to go there. Yeah. Give oh us a rundown, gosh. sir. Um, shout out to first of the day, man. It was a dope ass event, bro. Um, Derek Coleman was there. Um, this big ass bar, go karts, a lot of arcade games, bowling, a lot of lights. A lot of fucking lights. Security is there, so everybody's safe. Okay. okay. It was a good event, man. Um, a lot of connects too. Um, met his partner. She's a female. I forgot her name. She has her hands tied on. She wants to start the show, and she wants to give us the bag, man. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> Not, okay. She don't want to give us the bag, but we're going to work for the bag. Let's up. switch that up, man. Allegiant yeah, or Dave and of Buster's? Course, we always work. No, it wasn't work. Allegiant. What was it? Oh, my it God. It was Allegiant. Right? Of it, bro. I forgot the name of the spot. Is it better than Dave and Buster's? Yes. Damn. But yes. Is it cheaper? Um, I, I'm not sure. Um, so the deal that day it was forty dollars and everything was unlimited. Oh yeah, that's, so, that's better. Yeah, that was it. Was it's kid? No, it's kid. Dave and Buster's don't got go karts, and them go karts is fast as fuck too. Oh gosh, right? it's like CJ Barry. Oh, that was legit. Better than See, CJ's. To me, yeah. Okay. The only thing about CJ's, they got the like real ass rides at that bitch. Oh right? yeah, true. So true. Shout out to first of the day, man. Shout out to the sponsor, first sponsor. Um, he has some new cups. I bought one. It's right there. He got the color on the joint. The black. The Let's black cup right there. That bitch fire. He had a, some new shirts and shit. He had his family. They was going crazy. Um, we had a dope ass presentation too. We had the backdrop set up. Everybody was like, "What the fuck is that?" You know what I'm saying? People was That's pulling up and shit. Shout out everybody was pulling up. Um, I just did a scholarship ball for um the Golden Girls podcast. Sweet. That was fire. Talk about it. Um, they gave out a few scholarships. Um. One senior from Henry Ford High School. She was in her bag. And she it was dope because it was her first time driving. So she pulled up. So everybody oh, was hyped. So she yeah. went crazy with that. 
Uh, shout out to Urban, yeah, I mean, Urban Kings and Queens. I just did one last night with Two Cool Turk. Shout out to Spooly. Was, I was there. It was cool. I was there. He was there. Uh, what's up, Crack? I was, what's going on? Yo, game's on Crack. Yeah. New Xbox, no, I is. seen it. Yeah, I, I was... seen it. It's getting up. Uh, it's getting some gaming in, you know what I'm talking about. I like how the little PlayStation look, but it's over, nigga. Y'all done. They they announced some PlayStation Five. Yo, hey, check out uh, Games on Crack, uh, the YouTube. Facebook. Uh, we out here. Uh, going to be delivering episode ten uh, this coming week. What? So, uh, yeah, get ready, man. Get ready. Sweet. G O K gang gang. Sorry, I don't got that. I keep on the looking. I keep looking at this bad. fucking camera. It's not on. It's not on. It's good practice. Habit. Good, practice. good practice, yeah. man. It's not a habit. Let me go through the sponsors real quick. Shout out the first of the day real quick. Bro. I was about to be an asshole, but Spooty said no. Nah. <laughs> shout, shout out to H2E. That's back. Hardest to easy. Apparel. Um, Fuck with us. Shout out to Wristworks, man. I ain't got me a piece in a minute. I think I, I got I got something I want not of. So I'm going to be hitting y'all up soon. Shout out to the Ghost Podcast. He has not dropped the Facts. episodes yet. Sorry. Toasty. Um, who else? We got shout out to Big Stan. He dropped the bag for us so, um for Evolution recently. We just dropped some new shirts. Shout out to Evolution. Sweet. Who else? Am I forgetting anybody? Uh, shout out to Krispy Kreme, yeah. man. Got me a new hat finally. Anybody else? Shout out to the old idol bag. Shout out to I have not named this clothing line yet. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, my bag too. Shout out to Dean. And shout out to all everybody oh, that's going to be a sponsor. Too, for uh, real, for real. He owe me too. All the future sponsors, hit us up, bro. I'll rock y'all shit. Shout out to Hutch for getting my shit together. <laughs> out this bitch with the red eye like Cyclops. Yeah, I see, like this I shit, bro. Yeah, 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 them bitches nice. I had them on yesterday, yo. It's it's bitches nice. It's something different, yeah, bro. Bitches so everybody hates Cyclops. That's a fact. He's a pussy. Everybody hates Cyclops. <laughs> I hate Cyclops. He's probably the worst X Man ever in life. No What's up, man? What, what was the weekends like? Well, uh, my weekend was pretty cool. Uh, I, it was an honor being with uh, Mad Miles on his oh, uh, Kings and Queens episode. I got a chance to get an up close view of that. That was pretty good. Spent time with the family. Um, been planning some things. So uh, further developments with H2E will be coming soon. New drops. Oh, you ain't talking about the no silent shit. party either. Oh, damn. We never talked about that? Oh, my birthday party went crazy. I ain't going to lie to you. Uh, pitch Black, silent party, went dumb. Everybody had a good time on a fucking Sunday. Niggas uh, lagging at work the next day. Fuck but at work, dog. It was well oh worth my it, though. Gosh, well worth it. bro. You know what I mean? Well worth the next party I do will not be on a Sunday. And if this it is, is on mine, <laughs> you can take And if it's it. on a Sunday, it'll be early so everybody can recover and all that type of good day shit. Day party. Yeah, day party type vibes. But Thank hella fun. You. Be on the lookout for the next shit, you know what I mean? Um I was surprised by the DJs, man. Everybody did, did good, good for sure. Yeah, yeah. Flex went crazy, bro. I ain't think he was in his bag like that, yeah. bro. And he was going dumb. Yeah. Yeah, he went crazy. Dog did too. Um, What's the other one? Slick. Slick. Slick Rick. He always do good though. I ain't really had no bad experience. Where though. um where I think O C took off at, it wasn't even really even during his power hour. His it power was, hour wasn't even hot. I had a whole different lineup for that power hour. I ain't even gonna he, lie. He chose some songs that I felt could have got subbed. Definitely. But, you know. But after the power hour, he went off. He went the fuck crazy. Yeah. And I think that was his his moment right there. That's you know what I mean? But I don't think nobody did they power hour. Great. On I think, power hour. I think niggas played it safe as fuck. Yeah. Um I think no, I think mm, mm, I don't know. Cuz even um I had high expectations for OC, so it was probably hard to match that. It was hard to match that's that. That's what I think it was too. Like uh he should have played some more turn up shit. He kind of he fine was trying to mix them two together. He was supposed to play some turn up shit for real, for real. Yeah. But great party, great event. Will be coming soon. Uh, Bigger venue next time. Weekend I, date. I don't have a song, but I don't fuck with you. I'm fucking up. I had a busy ass week. Got grades and shit to turn. I literally didn't have no time to prepare at all. Doom, 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 doom. I don't fuck with you. Doom, 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 
You little stupid ass bitch. I ain't fucking with y'all. Do I sound like a white girl? Keep going, keep going. I don't know the lyrics. But no, listen, bro. I'm on my John Q shit, bro. Stupid ass bitch. I ain't fucking with you. I'm on my John Q shit, bro. So, um, oh my what? goodness. What? 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 Damn, son, where'd you find this? You blew it! Four dollar. Shug is in the building. I don't know when the last. I think he ain't been here since the crib. Nigga, I ain't seen <laughs> last that, nigga. February. You lost weight, nigga. Shit. <laughs> hey, this nigga lost weight. Shout out to the niggas losing weight. That's a fact. That's that slave shit. <laughs> my nigga on the slave boat. I don't even see my weight. nigga. I, I can see, no your, more, I can see your neck. Did you go to the anniversary <laughs> party? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's the last one thing. Damn. Um. I recently, you know, I'm in and out of the hospital, sick ass miles. Of course, these doctors are trash, bro. And I don't know if they're like, what do they get paid for? Can somebody please explain? Like, I don't really want to go too in there because I still, I still have to see them, so yeah. I don't want them to so kill gonna, me. Yeah, I was about to say. But <laughs> they probably go kill me anyway because that's what I feel like. They give me meds that make me worse. Uh, shout out to the nurses, man. I fuck with the nurses, but the doctors are trash as fuck. They bro. are trash. Uh, what what hospital? Bang, 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 bang. Bro, I, I've been traveling. It's bang, that bad. Like, bang. I'm like, okay, you trash. I gotta go here. Um, the best I done went to is Henry Ford. Um, yeah, that's that's. You. Beaumont, cool. Providence, fuck y'all. So I, sorry. I got, a, I got a problem too. Like I gotta go to the doctor because sometimes I have chest pain. Oh yeah, they like mm -hmm. all right, yeah. and they just be dismissing my ass every time. That's a fact. Like I be like, it, shit happen all the time. Like you know what I mean? They be like, well, you know, everything looks fine, and yada yada blah. Girl, and that shit weird, bro. Like if ahead. I'm telling you that I have a pain or something is fucking wrong with me, like I'm not making this shit up, bro. Yeah. So yeah, they like, what the to, fuck? Uh, they want me to pay the bag. Pain. Yeah. Uh, or opioids. Uh, if, <laughs> opioids. If, if <laughs> you'll be like, yo, uh, I need to be scanned, and so then you gotta pay money to get scanned. That's a fact. But I fuck with Providence for sending me home because they was like, you know what? They not gonna do shit for you, so just go home. Yeah. And I'm just like, I don't want you to get this dumbass bill for no reason, and it's yeah, crazy because I got this fucking be out of control too. ear infection, and it's affecting my whole fucking body, bro. Like. My face, my neck, all kind of, I'm fucked up. Yeah. And they didn't even take me to the back. <laughs> just like, they okay. Said, get better. <laughs> get better. And I, well, I'll be fucked up if I get to shoot some shit up, take some people for hostage. Like, John, hey, <laughs> shout out to John Q, man. Go crazy. Real yeah. shit. Y'all lucky, my, hey, Go knock crazy. on wood. But if y'all do some shit like that with my daughter, I'm on tip. Oh, this nigga on that Denzel. <laughs> shout out to Denzel, man. I'm, I'm on that shit. Send my fucking daughter home and she fucked up. Fuck that. <laughs> insurance don't help with everything. That's a fact. No, it don't. Trash insurance ass insurance, insurance out here. Fucking bills still be coming. Bills be like, high as shit. Medication fuck? high as hell. Eardrops. That birth. Three hundred. That, that birth bill though. That shit ain't no. Well, they can keep it. That's a fact. I should have had my baby in the. My shit probably bathtub. My shit, my <laughs> shit probably in collections right now on some real shit. It better know. be. Shout out to my credit score going up, man. Oh yeah, make sure you that. Because my shit was below. Oh, my shit is ass. I'm about to get my below shit back, negative a hundred. My credit score always been good. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know how. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm sorry, I'm not a part of that struggle, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about that. That was for me. That wasn't for you. Oh my bad. That's you know. my after credit I got the score. crib. You know what I'm saying? It'd be an adjustment period. You start. You know. Oh, you got a crib with your credit, huh? I did that. I did that. Yeah. Sweet. I did Big that. whoop. Want to fight about it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Spooky. What's the first topic, man? First topic. Uh oh. Um, Spooky trials. Today. So yeah. <laughs> I will be going through the topic list today, ladies and gentlemen. So be aware and be, be aware. <laughs> if I fuck up, you know. Well, there's no fuck ups on the podcast. We do what the fuck we want to do. That's a fact. So, uh, first topic is uh, the NCAA votes in favor of student athletes profiting from their name. <laughs> so, I don't know how I feel about it for real. I don't even know why I did the hand clap. You know, why? Wait. What's wrong with it? I like it. it. It depends if they still keep their uh, scholarship. Cause uh, I'm gonna tell you what I don't like about it, but it's it ain't got nothing to do with like the actual. Let me hear yours first. 
Um, you just look more educated than me. You might sound better uh, saying uh, it. <laughs> no, just the fact that uh, they waited this long to do it. Mm. That's that's my only issue. It, it was like a Com combo breaker. Once the bill passed in California, it seemed like they was like, all right, nah, we. We kind of got to do something now. Because so. it's like if Michigan would have been like, hey, let's do it, they would have probably Yeah, because it would have been going. No, nah, it would have been going like from state to state. And then instead you, of just fucking saying, up the competitive edge because everybody going to want to go to like schools you can get paid at. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So um, I just ain't like, you know, how late they were to like the party with the shit. Like it, it was, it's a little uh, funny to me. <laughs> It's never too late, though. The good thing about no, it is, definitely not. I seen a NCAA football gaming poster already. Oh yeah, uh, how is that going to work, Mister Diesel? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. For those uh, who don't know, that is the reason why we have not had any college sports games. Yeah, basically they they had a right to do it again. Like they they had a right to except this time they can actually put player names in there. Um, I'm not sure about the specifics as far as because I, as far as I know, you still can't have an agent and be in college. So um, if if we talking about like how we get in money, um, I don't know how that's like really broken down. Like I, I've, I've I don't either. Of, I was hoping you like did. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if the details are available as to the specifics as how the kids uh will be getting paid um the frequency of how much they're getting paid like if you're uh say like with zion like for this for the past they did uh, that shit on season. purpose they had to get zion to fuck up Man, out of there first been rich. Uh, that's what i'm saying but boy if, if you have a zion and compared Mello. to like maybe like uh the tenth person on the bench like are they going to be making the same amount no, of money no, like, that's what i'm saying yeah. so um, I don't know. I, I was looking at it as um, like, sorry, say if a player get like a contract with Express on some modeling shit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That's that's your access to getting paid stuff like that, correct? Or is there more ways? I would. I thought it they're was not getting just, paid. They're not. Are they getting paid for playing? That's. Um. Uh, I don't know. Because I feel like that's that. what the scholarship is for. I don't think they. I don't think it's clear cut yet. Yeah, and that, I, I guess if people can clear it up, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, like that's course, weird. Like, you know You're telling saying? me they like, go give get so, the information. But so, from my thing is they're getting paid from their likeness. So, I think that's probably like a jersey, uh, oh. you know, maybe like autographs or sales. stuff like that. You know what I mean? But I don't Bobble think it's like, and shit like that. Yeah, I don't think they really getting paid off of just every game. And that's not enough. If I'm a college player, I need more. But they already got their scholarship. So, yeah. I mean, you got to kind of put it in perspective. Like, they have to – they can't just give them, like, all right, here you go, your salary. I don't shit. think they should get paid to play. But – because, again, like, that scholarship – like, you don't have to pay shit. Yeah. Niggas still But they playing. also – they no. barely can work. <clears throat> they can't work. I, I think I think they should get paid to play. Like, like Okay, that's, yeah, that's I'm going like to change that job. up. Yeah, you said that. that I'm going to change yeah, that up Yeah, I was about to sure. say that. That's basically that's their, their job. job. And it damn near is. That's you know true. what I'm saying? Like, they can't yeah. – I'll take that back. Like, Sorry, y'all. Even about. even if you look at, bro, there's times like, you know what I'm saying, like going through college where I just was like, yo, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this shit. That's a fact. That's without having to think about like being a basketball player and traveling places and, you know what I'm saying, like everything that you know being a student athlete, like everything that comes with that. So, I feel like you should be getting paid. Especially if you look at what the NCAA is bringing in, That's like yearly, fact. like it's crazy. Yeah. So should it be a flat rate? Everybody yeah. get paid yeah. the same amount. Yep. Yep. And See, then I can't say that either because like Zion had everybody going crazy. Like Zion niggas who don't niggas use. That's like, how you. That's how you get. That's how you get the jersey sales and all that stuff. Like you, you saying me like uh, Zion jersey gonna sell more than gonna sell the same as the guy the 10 person on the bitch no. but they're not yeah but so that's, that's where what I'm he gets saying, bread like, from more of the, the the pay difference the profit difference whatever but that's what i'm saying like that's not it's not a difference like funneling to those athletes that's for like for the team like if my jersey and somebody else's jersey is on sale that's still for like 
in Zion's case, well, last year that would have been for Duke. Like that's money that they bringing in that Duke can pay them. So it's not like it's going like straight to Zion. No, but that's what I'm saying. It should though. That's what I'm saying. Like if it's my jersey, I should get a percentage. Of that. Yeah, but I I don't think I don't think this is what that is. I'm I'm not sure. But, um, I'm trying to I'm trying to find like. More information as far as like and how things be able to get like how things will be paid. That's that's what I'm saying. Like I, I don't know because if you do have somebody who is 35, Chioki, my bad, who who's bringing in more, I guess attention for your school. You have to pay that player like what they're worth. In my eyes, I don't know if this is going to do that. I, I think yeah. this might just be some shit like where they like all right, everybody get this amount. Which you know what I'm saying it's better than nothing, but it's still not. It's not reflective of uh, the kids that are bringing in the most revenue for the NCAA. Okay, but but all in all, everybody's kind of for it though, right? Everybody's yeah, for it. Okay, yeah, yeah. that's good. We just need more further developments. So yeah, like I just wanna, I wanna know like how the money's being. We need the fucking details, NCAA. Distributed. We need the fucking details. Pull them out. Pull the fucking details Shout out. Shout out to Cali for making that shit happen, That's a boy. Because Nick. Yeah, it, it only could have been. But y'all still hold my nigga Zion. He would have been in this fucking bag, bag. He might have stayed a couple years. That's a fact. <laughs> that might, hey, that might affect the NBA, boy. Yeah. No way. It might. I mean, depending. You depending really on these like others. The talent, like, you have to be like one of those. Like top tier talents, like yeah. generational talents, yeah. even like no Zion. Zion, Zion didn't have to stay. Nah, no, I don't know. he's gonna get the bag anyway. So okay, we can move on to the next topic. Okay, you know, sure. uh, I'm transitioning. You know, all the topics today. Is this your game? So huh? yes, that's my theme music for the evening. All right, so one day, uh, the Wade family took to Instagram a picture. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't make this up. All right. Uh, he took to Instagram a picture of his family: Wade's son Zaire, uh, his daughter Cavia, Ke- and uh, Gabrielle Union. And uh, the caption said, "My girls." Um, the photo spread quickly online. How do you guys feel about this? I mean, he he not supposed to say my my niggas, my son, my niggas. I mean, yeah, like. Y'all gotta stop acting like y'all don't know what generation we in. I don't know why y'all act so surprised. I thought Zaire ain't Zaire the one that's um the basketball player. No, nah, just the little nigga. Or the oh, little the, girl, uh, huh? The little girl. The little, so Zaire's the little girl. <laughs> what's the uh fl- basketball Flash? Young fl- little Flash. What's his name? No, Zaire's the uh, the boy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is it? Yeah. Oh. So um, who who the youngest son who is a. I don't so is that know if he's a transgender. Is not. that the one he calling the daughter? Uh, Who knows the names? Some woo fat hey. that man. Slaps. Yeah. If you make this damn sheet, Uh-oh. you gotta get it right. Cause mm. I don't know Combo who the fuck. Breaker. Damn. Kavia is. Is um, that? No, know, that's the girl. That's, that's the girl. That's the girl so, for sure. So Zaire is the the basketball player. All right. Anyways. Yep. Uh, off that topic. <laughs> damn. <laughs> Yeah, damn, 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 damn. <laughs> no, Everybody like, can't come up here. <laughs> so Zaire is, the, speaking Zaire on is the flash, right? And Zion. Zion is the hooper, nigga, right? Yeah. Zion is, uh, what? Yes, it is. Zion is the little girl. Okay, Zion. So the, Zion wasn't even in the picture? And That's the basketball player. No, Zaire is the basketball player. No, Zion is the. See, I think Zion. Zion is, is the little girl. Yeah. So who's in the picture then? He, on, we according apologize to the notes. for this. No, <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> we y'all, apologize y'all, for this. Y'all, uh, y'all not looking at the picture. The according to the notes. No, the picture is the the gay boy. He. Yeah. So that Zion. Is Zion. Right. Okay. So, yeah. so that's what it in is. the notes is Zion. Uh, Zaire. So okay. Zion wasn't in the picture. Anyway, it was Dwayne's way youngest son. His daughter and Gabrielle Union. He said, "I need the facts." Girls. Slaps. <laughs> no, you taking care of your daughter right now and your son. So, but I need the correct facts, sir. How do y'all feel about him stating my girls? To me, it's understandable. Look, look man. 
he pushes for her, him, her, it a lot. I just, I still, I, I still don't subscribe to like kids like of that age, oh. like, um, I guess getting to that identification this is period crazy. or whatever, whatever it is. Damn. <laughs> Damn. This boy's a motherfucking god. Gracious. Damn, son. Where'd you find me? God. <laughs> Let the good times roll. <laughs> God damn. That's crazy. Look, I just, I, I feel like uh, kids don't know enough. They can't, they can't make the That little nigga know. <laughs> that little nigga know. I don't know how, but that nigga, I don't get it. They do be knowing, bro. I'm saying, bro, look. I get what kids, you're saying. Trust me. Kids be thinking they superheroes when they kids. Like, I mean, kids when they kids. What I mean is when, when kids are younger, like there's things like you don't you don't understand <laughs> yourself in I feel like an intimate enough way to make that decision. So there's you didn't when you was in elementary school You didn't know you like pussy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking shit. You not talking shit, that's some real that's the real conversation. Uh, okay. Or you didn't have a gay I boy like, in No, I'm saying I I knew like girls were the opposite attractive they were so you know what i'm saying in in whatever way you know what i'm saying i'm talking about with like identification like, like because he's not a girl like is is he saying because i've heard beyond I'm, wade I'm has accepted that said, his son is gay and that no i'm saying is he gay or is he identifying as, as a girl yeah that's what i'm saying we don't know is, that's well, a difference that, no that that's, title that's a difference though that, that is title crazy, they still is might like girls is. No, that title is what it is because he said my girl. So, are you stating that? So that's what I'm saying with identifying. Like I'm saying, like being gay is something different, different than, than being saying like, that I'm yo, a, yeah, I'm yes. true. Okay, he still might like girls. Come, come, baby, girl. Good job, Mr. He, he still might like girls. Nah, fam. That would be crazy. Oh, that would be crazy I'm because like I'm might, a girl, so he might say he's a lesbian. I'm saying, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Jeez, don't this know. Is, this is ext- all this I'm is saying. Crazy is like right as now. As a child, whatever, whatever <laughs> this is, whatever this is that confusing. is, I would give like a child their time to kind of like uh, figure these things out and try to be a support, mm-hmm. you know, for my child. But I'm not going to let them. That's take crazy. the wheel and say like, "Yo, I'm this, I'm that." Like, we gotta not, move on. Like, now. we have to be. This shit this, always this give a me a headache. That shit parents, crazy. Like, where we have to, there that is nigga, some type of guidance. You getting the fuck out my house? That nigga could be a <laughs> no. girl and gay at the same. A, a gay girl. A girl they could be a lesbian. A lesbian. That's fucking insane. But I, I don't really like how people can. Even if that's he trying to identify as a girl or whatever the case may be, I would call that nigga. My so son. can I say I'm not black? This is the argument or the the that nigga will be my conversation son. we have all the time. About, it's just like I don't like you're I don't still my understand son. You still got to conduct yourself as a man. I would have to. I would have here. to. Huh? <laughs> he might be a stud. That that shit is crazy. I'm I'm glad you even brought that dynamic to this shit because he can fucking round and be a lesbian girl. Combo breaker. That is a fucking combo breaker. Intense combo breaker. What this kind of leads to the next topic. I mean, it's uh over the last. Wait, hold on. I- hold on. So Wade is wrong by putting. He's not wrong. I wouldn't say no, he's wrong. I'm, he ain't wrong. I just said me personally. You were saying he. You still my son, nigga. Like regardless of whatever the fuck you. Combo about, breaker. Like, I just wanted to do that again. And then that's. No, no, no we gone. We over. We over. It, it, this shit tough. This shit tough. And just to add fuel to fire, Apple last update they added over like 400, 400 gender neutral emojis. <laughs> um, You're a update. phony. <laughs> hey, um, this guy's a great big phony. I don't think I got that update yet. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't either. Create the emojis you, to. I don't, do, I don't do you have the update? Does anybody have Let's like. Go to the mic, Kurt. Niggas want representation for. I don't have that update. I don't either. Emojis now. Bro, they want the world. They took the rainbow. Y'all still don't get like you know. It's funny. Like black people can't get shit. I was about to say y'all still just, can't get niggas, niggas skin color correct. Like the light skin color is not correct. 
We too cool to fight and complain about the shit that they fight about. Niggas you be said what? Pale as we fuck. don't fight in, like they do. No, no, they, no, no, they no, have, no. They have all types of people on their side. They got blocks, cities, they got, they got, streets. They got white people. They got black people. They got Asian people. Yeah. We just got black people. Yeah. So that's that's, that's a big difference. difference. <laughs> Look like the but power. They do, and they know how to fight more because they got more people to leverage. But yeah, how y'all feel about the four hundred emojis? I don't care. I don't. It don't bother me. Slaps added this. I don't know why this was. What this topic? Yeah. <laughs> Combo breaker. Should have hit the, the wah wah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, 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 it doesn't affect me. Like it's emojis everywhere. It's, it's, like it's you know it's just they typical. want emojis. It's, it's the typical thing of um. The representation argument that we hear about everything. So if if representation in emojis is what you're fighting for, I guess you know. Do you get it? I mean, but what's going to happen when somebody says no? <laughs> Nobody. So say will no. they have like? <laughs> Nobody ever says no. Nobody says no to and when them. they do. You know, yeah. Well, they have like a different eggplant emoji for like the oh transgenders. My <laughs> oh my! Like, I, that's a good question. Like, how are they? What? <laughs> you can do. It. Yeah. Like this is <laughs> this what the, the transgender fuck? the transgender eggplant. Like this is the one you where you know. <laughs> this is the one where you know. Like <laughs> this ain't. It's a pussy on this, top. Yeah, of this the, the this the <laughs> 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 this that one. Like clap it up for Scooby's uh, emoji idea. But that shit, that would be Jesus. crispy. Like, what if you? What that would be crispy. Like, like, so look, so look. You acting up? So, every, hey, for instance, you got the club, single, whatever the case may be. You hit on this girl, get her number. Oh my god! Did she hit you with that eggplant? Like, well, you is know, this your game? It's, it's something I gotta oh. tell you. <laughs> that might be better than yeah. her actually telling you in person. So, no, man. yeah, because you want it, man. Go, <sighs> Mr. Yeah. Diesel. <laughs> Ginger neutral news, bro. I need a nigga that has the update. I need the CDs. Oh my gosh, bro. It was how many? 400. What the fuck? I just, down. that shit literally bro, just hit. Hey, like, what? what? We can't even get the we black hands. We even hand- got 400. We don't even have the black hands for the handshake, and I'm pissed off about that. But they, they it's 400 emojis uh, for the transgender shit. We can't even get the handshake. Go to your shit right. and see if you can do the handshake with, with a black fist. I mean, black hand. It, it doesn't happen. These, it's just I'm, yellow. Just, I'm not feeling this new iPhone. This shit just fucked my whole life up for no reason. What's next, man? I'm over this oh, shit. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, okay. Um, um, oh, Diesel got something to say about it? No, no. Oh, okay. I'm just, I'm you seem like you was going through these notes. More transgender news. <laughs> no, what we can go to. I don't know if y'all seen. Um, <laughs> I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> what? We do. It's a, it's more of a serious topic though, the human trafficking shit. Oh shit! Oh uh, y'all don't y'all. Don't, oh man. <laughs> nah. Go down Let's go. Uh, yeah, it's go a down real dark path. path. <laughs> so um, recently, uh, Tony D. Riviera, um, she had an interview on the Breakfast Club, where she kind of details her life as a victim of sexual. I mean, human trafficking. I say sexual trafficking. Human trafficking. Um, I forgot what city she was in, but uh, basically. She goes from a victim to being like a person that, uh, I, I guess, like a ringleader of the shit, like recruiting and all that type of shit. So she tells how she used to get girls or people like that. Now she's a fucking rescuer of uh, people in human trafficking. So uh, via uh, Instagram, so people DM her like, "Look, yada yada yada. This is a girl. I think I seen her do this and." All this type of shit, and she'll actually rescue the motherfucker from being a, a victim. So that's that's great. Did anybody see the interview? I seen no. part of it. Part of it. Yeah. No. Um, no. Okay. And you know, I'm boycotting the uh, Breakfast Club. Okay. Um, I'm gonna let you know how it happened. So basically, she was uh she went out of town to Miami <laughs> with her friends and shit, and um they uh this was when I think it was in the nineties. <laughs> okay. I think so. And then um. Uh, she uh they was dancing on the car and people start throwing money at them and shit so it was one guy he walked up to her like hand her some bread or some shit like that I, i'm 
not saying it verbatim, but uh, like shit, if you want to make me some make some more money, shit, meet up with me at this hotel, yada yada. Next thing you know, they meet up at the hotel. Uh, then you tell her like we gonna go to this club so you can make some more. Um, next thing you know, she back there in the back, or she in the club, and they introduce this this uh, stripper name, and um. Nobody going on stage because it was supposed to be her going on stage and she didn't even know it. Next thing you know, she danced at a strip club. Then from there, he kidnapped her ass. Well, not really kidnapped her, but she became, got in the game. And, I was about to say, she basically. Yeah, so she basically kind of got herself into it. I was you know just about I mean? to say. But she was young as fuck. I think she was like uh, 16, 15, some shit like that. Something to be said for indoctrination. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's it's worth mentioning before you you, you know getting your bag. No, I ain't gonna be. We gonna talk about that the getting your bag thing or was that some slaps went to hold on to what you don't remember when uh oh shit this was this was I'm getting my shows mixed up but oh, slaps shit. brought up slaps brought up a topic he said it was a forecast topic okay. this is you know combo breaker my brain not fucking up all the way uh he was saying like uh. <laughs> a woman said that getting in your bag is gay because men shouldn't have bags. We can talk about it in a minute. I have I a just, whole ass book bag. Hey, <laughs> look. Everybody in here yeah, got a bag. Hey, we we going to get to it. But I, I was going to say it's worth mentioning that Michigan is ranked number two um, in the country. <laughs> human trafficking. Oh, okay. Yeah. Keep your hand up for that shit. That's crazy. That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Whenever uh, Charisma and uh, Malachi be out, I be on some scare shit. No, like um, mm -hmm. that should be real, man. Like if if you peep, you will see like a a weird looking like van in the back of like. It be bro. Not even that. We've been had hella missing like females in the all past the two three years now. All the time, mm -hmm. and, yeah. and, and it's not getting pushed at all. No. Yeah, it's and it's like my thing is people gotta stop. Oh my bad. And, no, I was just gonna say like it's because we close to Canada. Um, That's a fact. And shit like that. Like, um, it's not hard to kidnap somebody and go straight across the bridge. Yeah. So, um, between uh, the truck stops, um, I know Toledo was another major point. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Shout out to Slaps because uh, he did. Whoa. You know, he gave some uh, <laughs> information. Oh. <laughs> it wasn't first-hand information. Okay. It's not first-hand information. But. but my thing is, like, I get that part, but people sleep on who's paying. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but, like, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I do. But and a lot of times, like, niggas think they but just. But you know who's paying, They though. just. Yes. Robert Kraft. Well, I just think they just little, they little strippers or Puppy. whatever the case may be in. So oh, like, I'm out of here. Blame them. You want to blame who? The motherfuckers paying. Well, you can't you technically mean? blame them because most niggas probably think they like stripper hoes or some shit like that. But even, but it's, it's the it's same still, game. Yeah, I mean, it's still sex, prostitution. Oh, all that shit, the same game, yeah, different names. Just like this LGBTCQTCTV community. Pippin is different than human trafficking. No, it's it, not. Niggas blur the line, but it's different. It's very thin, boy. It's very thin, say, but it's different. There's Most not much of a, a not much. My, this is my question. So, if a female agrees to it and doesn't like it after she agrees to it, it's still fucked up. But it's like, where is it at? Like, because a nigga I won't let her go like, is bad. Yeah, that's when, okay. when it's like you like, or right, you agree to this, I'm, so I'm working with you, or right, I don't like this shit. Now I'm arguing with you, I'm beating your ass, all that type of shit. Now that's like, okay, that's where it kind of like, but like if it's a girl like shit, I'm trying to make some money. You a pimp? What's up? And that's what like, I'm saying because you know I mean? it's like at the beginning of this story, is like she took the money, mm -hmm. to and don't even know what she's doing. It's like, hey, you want to make some money? Yeah, let's give it here, and I'm out. Let's, it is, at that point, it's like it don't really matter. Yeah, she young. She we young as fuck, though. Capitalistic society, so it's true. And Charlemagne had a run in with her. Like Charlemagne was at a uh, mm. at some type of function, and um, mm. this is before the Gucci. In <laughs> this is before the, uh, you know what I mean. So like, mm. he basically they was at a hotel with some, you know what I mean. Where the case would be, and he like shit. You too pretty to be doing this shit. So he gave her a, a subway sandwich and a soda. <laughs> it told her to stop. What? So he didn't. He didn't even pop off. Pretty to be doing this. He shit. didn't pop off. 
He so she was up. ugly. He would have paid. No, I mean, I think it was on, already the there. Girl that, the girl that, that was the on the whistle. Yeah, the one that was, they, she, she was ain't pretty, is she? She, I mean, she old as fuck. She older now, oh, but she, like, she, she, she said she did like, got oh, with okay. a couple celebrities though. Yeah, you know I mean, nigga, like that's what I'm had saying. Had Y'all gotta start acting like that. Ain't the game for sure. But uh, you'll be what she said was like the high traffic areas was church. That was like the high traffic area where she recruit um motherfuckers that's like crying mm-hmm. on their knees. Yeah. She said she'll target them. Um uh prom season was like a good recruiting time. Prom? Yeah, cuz they need money the for young niggas. 17 years old, 18 years old. They need money So she for was their, saying she was going she to She was recruiting. She's turned into a recruiter. Oh, you know to what I mean? get so girls she, to yeah, wow. niggas that's crying at the altar to get saved and all that shit. On their head because they got some trauma. She's like, she got to be something going on. That if should you, be like a mom. Praying bro. and all that type of shit. Like, you must be struggling somewhere. I need to I mean, watch this interview. It's real. It's real steep. And then she was going into in the depth how they'll kidnap the uh, children and train them to do certain stuff with like food, like lock them in the closet and give them cucumbers when they get out. The only thing about all this shit Sick is like, I just feel like we have a strong social media presence now, and it's just like. All this old shit is coming to light, and everybody's surprised about it. But this stuff been going on for years. Um, movies are out for a reason. I feel like if there's a movie about it, it happens. I'm sorry, everybody don't feel like that, but I do. Taken. Um, was that the first one, right? Yeah. And it's just like, did y'all really just think this was just some movie shit? And it's like, people be all into shit when it's current. Taken was about human trafficking. Yeah, his daughter was. Yeah, that was about to. That's why they kidnapped her ass. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know it was about human trafficking. I seen the whole shit too. I gotta go back and watch that one. It's mad. It's mad. I gotta watch it. I gotta go back and watch it. Yeah, it's hella movies about sex trafficking. Mm. Like even to go to the R. Kelly shit is like. R. Kelly ain't the only nigga that's doing what the fuck he's doing. It's just like. When you was ready to go, he was like, bye, shit, leave. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's just your choice for real. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. Like, I don't know. Like, we, like when we was talking about it last, like, early in the year, it's just like the generational gap is like it was okay in the past, but now y'all want to change it. Do that mean you can change this person? Yeah, it's, it's a lot to be said for, like, being in the era and kind of being a product yeah. of your era and – like when shit changed, like I mean, give niggas a chance to like get their bearings. But do like, they have to change? Because my thing is like it ain't even about like changing, but like if there's something like now that again law changing, yeah, I yeah, get that. But I'm saying like if if there's something now, if there's something I could say like well like ten fifteen years ago. Mm-hmm. That I, it's not quite okay to say no. I don't get pissed off because I said it back then when it was cool. Or right. If I'm like right now and niggas this is like, this is so hey. off topic though. But go ahead. <laughs> and niggas is like, hey, this is what it is <laughs> That's now. That's my fault. Yeah. This is what it is now. <laughs> then hey, okay, I got yeah. it. Like I understand. Like you know what I'm saying. Like give me a chance to, you yeah. know, I guess approach it. It's all fault. Stop buying pussy, niggas. <laughs> Is it a hijab? The shit that Epstein. Muslims wear? So my question is, say, they so if, Epstein, I, bro. if I pull up and a young lady, like, you know, so do the men sell the girls or do the girls, like, is this prostitution or, like, how does I'm this? I'm not really sure. I think it is, like. A nigga present the I think girl it's both. to me? I think it's both. Okay. I think it's both. So, I yeah, them y'all both. trash for not turning people in. Yeah. Like is it, if y'all really out here buying all this shit, like buying these girls and women, y'all are trash. But if you, I told you Robert but, Kraft was at the spa, bro. But like, what if what? Like what if they at the strip club? Saber's is a stripper, or whatever. Could mm-hmm. be, and he like shit. I'm trying to hit. What's up? She like five hundred or some shit. That's different. Pay but that could be it too. So that's an example of that could be someone. Example, yeah. I think it could be. Is under sex trafficking. It could be. So from I what I've seen, <clears throat> it's like they go to a building. And they go in and it's like you got multiple fucking females everywhere and they pick a girl type shit. I think there's different ways dog. to do it though. Okay, so yeah, I'm not like, I'm not hip. 
because she what she was saying like some of them have regular jobs and like have them at McDonald's and we have like a manager spot at McDonald's and recruit more girls. See, that's on it ain't no um, different then because my thing is like y'all the and I'm not being insensitive at all, but it's like you have an opportunity to leave. Yeah, that's how she left. She uh was in the house with some girls and the guy who was supposed to be over the house, he was gone for like two days and she just like this nigga been gone. So she it was like a friend of the people in the crib. They he came to take them to the movies and it, the person she was supposed to take to the movies uh, wasn't there, so he was like, "Shit, I mean, I fuck with them. You like they family." So, so did her main nigga get caught up or like sent to jail or how do this shit work out? I don't think she told him. I don't think she said she told him. See, so okay. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't remember that part. Yeah, I'm not gonna comment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't sure. I ain't uh, finish that. Okay. Because I like shit, niggas be niggas be like, oh, you being shit. a whole ass nigga, and I'm try- I'm trying not to be. But it's just like you have but a no, chance if, to if, stop if, this person and save some lives. Why not do it? If she didn't, I think he died. Him, I think. I'm yeah, not sure. if she didn't turn him in, then on, like man. you could say it. But I don't. She ain't I'm no hero. Not she a hero? I'm not sure. I'm I'm not sure at all. She was saying like, like she's they, dead. Pool. Like if somebody deliver a pizza to your house, got a card on it, and say some shit, don't call it. It might be some shit where it can track your location type shit. She was saying like they these niggas got some shit. Like technology, they got technology part of it. They uh, trackers on the females. Yeah, they get uh, they lure some girls from like Spelman off some job interview type shit, and like during a fake interview, they drugged them and took them to a warehouse. So it's shit, it's like, shit like that. Like, yeah. so that shit just crazy. How you can just all right? You think you going to this interview? Your daughter thinks you going to an interview and shit. These niggas end up drugging her with some water and then taking her to a warehouse. I'm blowing the warehouse up. See you on heaven, daughter. <laughs> Combo breaker. Yeah, that's no, if y'all that's haven't seen sick, it, y'all bro. for sure gotta watch it, man. That shit is weird. This nigga been why? Y'all gonna been why? <laughs> Damn. What's next, man? Y'all What's be next? trying to make a nigga sad in this bitch all the time. Yo, this that shit. slaps like this was like this, this is the very most depressing, depressing <laughs> intro ever. Yo, this is a depressing Jeez. order. All right, all right we gonna bro. talk about Gucci Man versus the fucking Breakfast Club. <laughs> Gucci Man on their head, man. Toasty. Gucci yeah, Man, he's on, on they two fucking he head. That nigga said, "You nigga. a pussy." He been pussy, man. Oh man, I'm gonna slap the shit out you. Um, I feel like it's definitely trying to help his tour and his my album might be coming out. So if it's anybody very, know, oh, yeah, it's I mean, very it's random. Do everybody know what happened? <laughs> yeah. It's uh, not really random. It is. It's random that it's random that Charlamagne interviewed him at that time. But it seemed like Gucci set up the interview. So, so what happened? Can you break it down? What happened? I know about I, Angela Yee. The whole thing, yeah. So, that's why they, um, you know what I mean? in the past, Angela Yee and Gucci. Gucci was on Angela E first, like one of her first shows, yeah. one of her first podcast shows, and like Angela E being the host, she was talking her shit. And I, I kind of feel it. She was talking. She always that's what she, she always talk. She crazy. always talk Even crazy. On her new so podcast, she talk crazy. Gucci feel like she made a comment about her um, pussy being deep, and you know just some shit like it, regular it, shit. It was a comment after he like. He kinda, wasn't on that shit. He no, no. He kind of like hinted towards like shit. Can it fit? Type shit. Then she kind of was no, like, she, "What do you, know you know say?" I mean? He kind of hinted. She towards said, it. "Um, you know what they say about um Asian pussy?" He was like, "It's fat or some shit like that." And she's like, "No, nah, it's deep. This pussy deep, some shit like that." So <laughs> Gucci felt like that was like, uh, "Come see this deep pussy type shit," but. And then he said that uh, she texted him saying like, yeah. "No, where uh, where hotel you at? I'm a pull up type shit." And she said that never happened. But so from then, Gucci goes on the Breakfast Club probably like two years ago, and he kind of put it out there like, "Yeah, he was on my dick. He was on man. my dick." You know what I'm saying? And she's like, "I was never on your dick, nigga, and all this shit." So <laughs> you're like, "You lying, little bullshit, radio shit," you know and. Then the bomb happens. They said that Gucci's banned. I heard that wasn't true. They said he wasn't banned. I, I heard. I heard that wasn't true. Envy said he wasn't banned. Envy said he wasn't banned. Angela E said he wasn't banned. But them niggas do a lot of banning. Yeah, they do a lot of banning. So 
Do they? Yes. Who from they from my understanding, it was uh. Because they be having everybody. DJ up. Envy denied doing an interview because Angel Lee wasn't comfortable. Yeah. So. I, I guess that is kind of a band. Which is lame as fuck to me because it's like. But I'm saying, like, all right, Charlemagne has, like, not showed up for interviews, like, purposely before. So. I mean, they all miss interviews. But. But no, like. Somebody messy gonna, put like, it out there that they didn't want to interview that nigga. So, anyway, Charlemagne. I don't know. It, to me, it seems like. Gucci set the interview up because he couldn't do the Breakfast Club and Charlemagne was available. Mm-hmm. And that's how they but made that's it happen. Not how I go if it's if it's Charlemagne because it's Charlemagne. He had to reach interview. out to Envy because the last comment on Envy was supposed to be here too. Oh, as far as the promo team, yeah, no, I no, thought the um, promo team like But Charlemagne was like uh team. how you how he wasn't like he didn't know. The clues about that. That wasn't a Breakfast Club interview. That was like some Charlemagne. Yeah, that was Charlemagne. Side oh, shit. shit. Like yeah, it was so, some Charlemagne side shit. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Like Charlemagne did that, that shit mess. on his own. He, he's like, being yeah. spicy. That wasn't on no shit like, uh, that's not that. no shit that Gucci gonna uh, set up. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't say Charlemagne was being spicy. I mean, he's a media personality. It's been a lot of times they done brought niggas up there where Charlemagne didn't fuck with, but he know the, the game with the business. Like, but but honest. then that's what I'm saying. Like I don't understand like why you would make that your interview instead of just having them up there. Like Charlemagne could have been up there. We don't do. Yeah. No. For, for it like couldn't happen. No, not not both. I never seen it. Just been one of them though. It's and always not if both of them too. disagree. Like not if Angeli and Envy saying no. But it's been that the weird part about it is like because even with um who was that Keisha Cole or no what's the other one name? Fuck, what's the girl name? Name another the attribute. Delta. Another attribute. Love and hip hop. Singer. Uh, Everybody. Uh, need one more. The main um, singer from Love and Hip Hop. Uh, Kate Michelle. Kate, yeah, Kate Michelle. Michelle. Snap. Snapped on Angela E. Yes. They ain't do shit then. Oh, facts. I gotta watch that interview. Like, you know what I'm that. saying? There's been times where a nigga confronted the Birdman shit. It was like, that was towards Charlemagne. But that shit different. Like, we, you it's not different because Gucci shit like, wasn't even hitting saying, like that, though. No, I'm saying like, uh, as far as like it being like, ain't nobody gonna step up in that situation. And so like, you saying after the shit happened, but Gucci said he didn't even feel like it was an issue after that. You know what I'm saying? What so, happened was they had yeah, went to that. I, don't, uh, I, don't, I never thought it was like the Breakfast know. Club court thing, and they kind of was like they was hoeing. Uh, they was hoeing them, and they kind of yeah. brought the interview up about Yo Gotti. Like they brought played that back again and yeah. talking about him all that his shit. Wife and shit. Yeah. So yeah. like that's that be, where he kinda and got that's like, what I'm saying. Like that's why like I'm envy. On. Like I ain't, I ain't really I ain't feeling That's what I'm saying. Like I'm not understanding I don't fuck with envy like that, bro. I'm not understanding why envy if if he said that Gucci couldn't come up to the show, just be real and say like Gucci couldn't come up to the show because Not even that, because it's like you you been like you was on that shit with Deezus and Miro and them about the yeah, wife that's shit. What, that's what I'm saying. And you joking with Gucci about Gucci wife, like Yeah. No oh, facts. Y'all facts. y'all don't like when people come at y'all about shit. Like y'all gotta y'all gotta play y'all role, bro. I, I will never get mad if a nigga send a shot at us. We just go go crazy at this bitch. Like mm-hmm. ain't gonna take a person. This is the job. That's a fact. Yeah, and, and like y'all hold thing. y'all hold people every day. That's my thing too. It's like I feel like Angela Yee. Like you can't tell people how to like react to certain things, but I can say like in the entertainment industry where it just seemed like petty shit happens all the time, and all y'all do is talk shit about people every fucking day. Yeah. Like you should have thicker skin. Like the lightest joke you say still might fuck somebody up. So yeah, don't just that, take it light. Like, like you, you know never what I'm know. You never know how you may affect somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like on the other end. So when you are being so sensitive about like, like I said, it won't even like no out of the way type shit. If y'all had like the disagreement on on air. And I'm saying like this is how it was, and somebody saying no, nah, this is how it was. Like that is what it is. Like nigga, like you're in a messy ass industry, and none of this shit is changing the perspective of like any of y'all brand. Like none of this shit took away from Gucci. None of this shit took away from the Breakfast Club, mm-hmm. or even her fucking show. It, no, it actually, actually helped, helped her show. Yeah, it's gonna like, help facts. you. Yeah, niggas gonna tune you. You got a whole ass show called Lip Service, like. 
talking about sex and relationships and shit like that. So you really think that it just everything will go smooth? Like even with that, that whole Gucci shit didn't even seem like it was like a heavy hitter type of thing. Like this shit was lame, bro. And then all she like, had to do is just niggas got to stop giving the Breakfast Club all the props they and praise they be giving them, bro. Like Same they show ain't even been fire for real since the beginning. Like how they when they first dropped. And it's I like all of them be club. doing whole ass shit and lame ass shit too. Like, I mean, I fuck with them, but yeah, they, yeah. they be on some lame shit, they bro. Cool, but I don't know. They still, they, they I think they deserve watered. the props they get. They, they watered they down. Nori. They not like none of these. Like my favorite podcast. Are they a podcast or a podcast. radio no, show? Because no, I keep saying they a radio my, show. No, this they, is they, this is what I'm saying. I'm not saying I'm not. I'm not. Wait, wait. I'm saying like I'm, I'm saying like I'm not saying that they're a podcast. I'm saying okay. my favorite podcast is more entertaining than that. Back in the yeah. day when they first came out, there's no podcast to like go into comparison. Like now, oh gosh, that format to me it sounds better when it's just like you know in podcast format. So I feel like a lot of people are kind of like seeing that, and that's why they keep trying to like branch out to doing podcasts. I think Angela Yee's like the only one who, you know, successful, what I'm saying? like yeah, who who's done the podcast and like. But uh, she was pod and first sustainability yeah. and shit. So that's just because I just be talking all freaking that motherfucker. So, but not I, not even that. I like her no, content. I like her the floor, her show, and everything. Like. Yeah, I didn't watch a couple. I of think episodes. she's better at that than the the radio shit. Yeah, if because like if even it her radio her statement, her that should be dry and like, and like I don't really I mean, personally guess, I don't really like anybody like that in our what? age range on the like radio wise. Like I, it just ain't hitting to me like how I used to be, bro. Like when you had foolish and them, and even with Angie Martinez and them, like. So it's it's an era different. change. That's what I'm saying, it's and different. that reflect that reflect with like the shows and shit like that. That's what I'm saying. Like when when you see people kind of switching over to like one platform and starting to come up like more than like I feel like podcasting is has, taking over yeah, a little bit. Like in the online space, at least like where they were, where they was already occupying. Um, but I terrestrial know. radio is always going to be like a big thing. No, because so I was about to say, I fuck with Shorty the Prince. Like, when BJ and Shorty the Prince was on, I fuck with they shit. It just be like... I fuck with the Breakfast Club. It's, it's just like not... I really don't have nothing to say about them. The format, the format doesn't your shit. lend... Crazy. The format doesn't lend itself for, like, creativity, like, I guess, other... Like, I feel Man, like... They, I feel like they losing, they losing guests. I don't think they losing no, guests as they much as, like, I think they, they opened it up interviewed for everybody. Maybe that's it. That's they, what it they've is for interviewed sure. everybody yeah. who was worth interviewing. Now you got like a new crop, crop well, of like talent. People, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who ain't as good with like media relations? It, I, all right. There ain't no media. I'm not training. gonna hold them. Maybe it's just not for me. Yeah, sometimes. Shit just so get that's old, it, that's bro. what it is. Like, yeah. Shit just get old. Like sometimes, and that's why they, like I said, like they keep branching off to do like other things because I mean, them niggas been doing like the same thing. Like, what is different about that show? Now compared to like when it first came up, I think like they give, I think they give the uh, opportunity of more guests now, like more stuff like the Tony D. They be having a lot of politics up there a little bit, mm-hmm. and they be having like mental health people come. They open up the floor. I to fuck more. with those shows. Though. Yeah, they open up the floor yeah. to more. They uh, had they had a good interview with Byron Allen uh, recently. Yeah, more niggas like that. They be doing yeah. shit like that on the side. Most of the time before, it was just kind of like most of the But I mean, as a, as a format, like just as the format of the show as it is. Like, I'll just be the only, all right, I know that. I just don't like that they don't keep the same energy with everybody. Well, nobody do. I will say that. No, I, nah. I don't think nobody, nobody really does. Because mm. niggas be trying to keep their relationships and everything. Especially like if, if you're talking about like mainstream, like mainstream media, you're not gonna get like niggas who's like really in a bag. Because I don't know who who connected with Lior, but they let that nigga get the biggest pass ever. Oh yeah, and that's what I'm that saying. was the like, lightest having, interview ever. Niggas be having like relationships with people, and like I said, they don't want to like fuck them up, and that's just like how it is. Like anytime you doing entertainment shit, and that they ain't even to be held against them because everybody, like I said, everybody do that shit. What's next, man? 
uh, uh, Waptober too. It's kind of straight too. Nice little album, I think. I heard it. Listen to it a little bit. Um, Waptober and Gucci shit. While he's on Gucci, real quick. But, it's uh, out. Yeah, Waptober too. Check it out. Oh, One of the better ones since he been new Gucci out of jail. Gucci. Um, this ain't on the topic list, but I know people uh, I fucked with it. I believe rhythm and flow. Rhythm, what is it? Rhythm and flow. Rhythm and flow. Yeah, on the Netflix, the Netflix series about the uh, the competition with Cardi, Ti, and um, Chance. Chance. I feel like um, this was the best uh, hip hop competition show to me personally so far that I've seen. What? Besides, like, like, and better for the artists. I would feel like not just for oh, entertainment of value. <laughs> But just better for the overall well, artist. Yeah, independent like that. stage and niggas. No contract. Everybody get fucked over in contracts and shit like that. So, of course, they, they ain't had no choice but to make sure they was good now. I mean, I ain't I ain't really fuck with it like that. What? <laughs> it was, uh, it, it, I don't know. Why not? Um, Yo. I feel like a uh, chance the rapper shouldn't be on a show <laughs> like that because I nigga yeah. can't yeah. a nigga can't rap. Combo break, oh. co- co- combo breaker. He's an artist. He's an artiste. And that's what I'm saying. Like even, even if even if you go like the artist route, I just think it would be better people. He had like really um really weird judgments of like some of the talent. Like uh, I don't know. It it wasn't for me. Like it, I I understand why people uh were entertained by it because it, it was it was entertaining. It was great visuals. Yeah, great visuals. and yeah, it looked it amazing looked crazy. visuals. Like, yeah, it looked very, it's easy very to crazy. sell. Yeah, um, it was just like I felt. It just wasn't for me. I feel like a lot of the rappers weren't really the type of rap that I listen to or that I like. So it just didn't appeal to me. Um Damn. Shout out to I thought, you they, know, had a, I thought they had a little bit of everything in the show. Um I do want to say this. This ain't even specifically about this show. But ever since Nipsey passed away, bro, mm, mm, mm. I've been seeing this image used in every fucking mm. show. And I and damn, 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 damn. that's not to say that anything's wrong with that, but I hope and I pray that there is some type of like Genuine. residuals going to like his family because oh no, they, this is this sure. is just I, mean, I was uh this was random. Uh my wife was watching the show All American and they just had like a whole episode. Shit. They just there. had like a whole episode. I just saw Nipsey all in it. Uh, I was watching the nah, Black he was in Ink it in the first uh, season, though. Okay, right, I was on, watching man. the Black Ink episode. They had like a whole like Black Ink Compton was just like an episode revolving, revolving around that. Nipsey. I just hope that when people are doing this, uh, ballers, I just saying like you know what I'm saying. It was like one of the if last. The only thing I'm gonna say is I feel you, but if it's something in Cali, I'm not gonna really say too much because it's like I know how the city felt when our rappers pass away and stuff like that. So I'm going to leave Cali to Cali before it's like, I, I don't care. No, outside. I'm saying I don't care who it is. As long as you are that, that family sees something from that because like, I, I feel like a I lot don't of think people they are want profiting shit. off of his, <laughs> well, it like, can't help. It, I mean, it, it don't hurt. You know what I'm saying? Like the T or the TI shit itself. You know like I, I know that was, that was something that was already agreed on. Hey, can you uh, well, can you go downstairs and let uh, Pebbles in? Good look. Um, that was done before he died, so he already got either broke off or they had an agreement already. So yeah, and um, I'm not, I'm not. Now you know specifically about that. That just kind of sparked it. It, up, it was just like you know what I'm saying. Like I see, I see Nipsey and like damn near everything. Like I yeah. see, like it's all types of different forms of entertainment. So yeah. like I said, I would just hope. You know he his family is seeing residuals from yeah. that, but uh, but yeah, as far as the show, like I just you know I love Cardi dog. My, yeah, I fuck my, with Cardi. I um I, I uh judge all music competition shows uh to making a band with uh the band. 
Cause that's the that's my favorite one of all time. Yeah. So if it wasn't better for the artist though. No facts. No facts. Like they, and and that's another thing too. Like I can't hate on what you know. what I'm saying like the actual show is because I feel like it's a lot of like useful things like for artists. But like I said, personally, it just wasn't really for me. Like the. Only I'm not. I'm not a episode, big. So I can't you only watch one episode. I'm not. Yeah. A right, big, I went into it like that. Oh wow. Yeah, like it, it just it wasn't really. So y'all don't even know who won or anything. I seen no, I know won. who won. Yeah. Okay. Did y'all see the competition where they uh, did a feature with the? That was the, the rapper episode. Uh, I think I watched. Yeah. Y'all seen that one? Yeah. Did y'all it like that? Yes, yeah. it was fire. Do y'all think the person who won should have won? Is that one thing? Who y'all think should have won? The last I mean, two should have been the last two I for liked sure. The girl. Um, yeah, she was fucking up though. Girl was straight, but I know I said I, mean, I, I just personally like, fucked with her. Yeah, like yeah. I don't think she should have won, but yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I don't people fuck up. She just fucked she up fucked at the wrong a, time. She fucked up a couple times, too many times to be in a fight too. But um, yeah, that Janae Aiko and uh, Flawless that needs to release. I need to see updates on y'all uh, releasing that because I need to listen to that because that was that shit was fire. Janae Aiko with the Flawless and shit like that. Um. Shout out to them not fuck with the show. I fuck with the show. Shout out to D Smoke yeah. winning at two hundred fifty thousand. Chance the rapper got I like Chance. I don't like him as a rapper though, but I like them on the show. Yeah, he's a cool guy. You know what I mean? Seems like a cool guy. Yeah, for sure. Nice for sure. ideas. Let me go to the next topic, which I don't have the list pulled up right. Y'all ain't want to talk about because I ain't see uh slaps put on that uh. Eminem and Jordan Lucas. What if I was gay, son? Y'all heard about that shit? <laughs> so uh, gay shit. That's, that's uh. Jesus Christ. That's not uh. What is, what is it? What? What? Can we, can, what? We speak on, can we speak on something that's way better than <laughs> that? Fuck. Way better? I got something that's way better than that. Yo. Way better. Guaranteed. I need a break. I got something guaranteed way better. <laughs> I never felt like we needed a timeout. <laughs> The fuck is going on, dog? I never heard that. This song is his, bro. I didn't make it up. It's out. I th- <laughs> it can't be. I would. You would have heard something about it. It can't be out. If you want to crown them, then crown their ass. But um, that shit crazy. What about Dr. Dre getting honored at the Grammys? <laughs> You're a loser. Now I fuck with the Dr. Dre getting honored at the Grammys. I don't fuck with the Grammys. I feel it, but. Fuck but no. it's it's, it's no. a good thing for Dr. Dre though. Why? I think he deserved that. But why is it a good thing? Why any, do we keep any, putting Nay awards? It don't matter what awards. Than, it could have been fucking Detroit awards. We got the lifetime. It could have been the fucking for Detroit vibe awards. Already, Just so. any uh, recognition in general. Nah, you know what I sure. mean? That's good. Nah. But um, what the fuck? Who, who said you're a I loser? It was a <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gilly. He said uh, Dr. Dre was like the number one. Uh, Number one, I guess mogul or influential within hip hop. The other niggas that. stay. Sli- but listen, he the same as Diddy. Niggas be doing hella bullshit, lame ass shit, and still get the props so, for being the mogul. So you don't agree? No, the the best like he's out of who? One. So like no, the he's Jay-Z's, not number one. The only reason he's puffs. probably number one is because of the fucking beats deal. Take Man. that away. He like. I mean the NWA to to uh af, I mean not after death, death row, row he cheated the aftermath no as as far as like like that nigga he cheated crazy. he for sure cheated in death row as far like, as a mogul I feel like Dr Dre is not no. as great as like he's not well the influential like, in hip hop I would say not not as far as like mogul wise but just be influential I mean yeah because the nigga hip-hop. started in the early eighties like and yeah. stayed like I will give him that but it's like he needed help in every era area. I don't think he needed help as much. I mean, that nigga's only no, it was 50 50. Like, he's talented, but like Death Row, you got Daz that did everything and they put Dre name on every Daz beat, but, and but you he's the best the producer. Talent, though. That, that's, but that's still, that's a very important. I mean, I get that. I know the game, but don't he, get a nigga the talent that's what credit was going to where on. it's like, yeah. Well, the talent credit comes I thought from Daz got the production credit. and shit. Huh? Like, I thought Daz was getting no, credit. No, nigga. It said produced by Dr. Dre. And that's where it was no, at. But okay, yeah. but we Damn, all right. Dr. Dre. We, let's not confuse. No, no, fuck making. that. Let's not confuse. I got to see the facts on this one. Producing. 
because they too I know that Diddy is a great producer and I get that. So yeah, but so you still got This is Dre's Dre. beat. But Drake Drake might still, engineer it and Chris beat the fuck out that bitch. But no, Drake can still make beats though. They all right. You have to get He ain't him. the best. He might not be the best, but he's He's top not 10. the number one mogul. No, he's not. No, he's not a like that's what I'm saying. When you come when you talk about moguls, big, number one I'm not gonna put Dre up there. That's what I'm saying. Influence in hip hop. Oh, yeah. not, not mogul. You have to give him the influence shit. Number one. Why do who, who who will be number one instead of him? He'd be top three. He's, He's top, top five for sure. He top. Three. Who will be number one? I don't know. So I was like that no, because I can't. You, I'm not the type of person like that just Quincy go Jones give a nigga name up. Like that's that. what I'm saying. It's it's a lot of people that just really are like nigga young, Barry young. Gordy, for, nigga like hip hop. But for hip hop, it's, it's probably it's three, three different bro. people, bro. You know he's top three. Yeah, he's top three. What you mean? Y'all, y'all niggas sample them niggas' music to this day. James Brown shit gets sampled to this day. Why is not? Nah, well, not that's the first not, beat. Bro. Like, what are y'all Brown, talking about, bro? bro? It's not hip hop. What's wrong with you? All right, bro. That, 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 tripping. So, y'all tell when, no, when does hip hop start? Part, listen. When does hip hop start? 1978. What date? I don't know. Exactly. August. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> August. <laughs> fuck out of here, bro. Dr. Dre Top 3. <laughs> fuck the Grammys. I'm not excited. Go crazy. I mean, the Grammys. Uh, do we care about award shows? It seems like we do. I just like the fact that he's gonna get the recognition. And then what? I just want to see the performance. <laughs> this nigga said, "And then what?" The performance is dope. Beat another woman. Who was it? Was it uh, Michelle? <laughs> then you go. Who was I, it, I, no, that's why I don't fuck with him though. Like NWA, probably the. I love the movie. Don't get me wrong, but this nigga was the biggest superhero in the fucking world in that fucking movie, Facts. bro. It was so much, so many hey, for lies sure in that, that nigga movie, bro. Ass. Like, get the fuck on, bro. They was making nigga that nigga trash, trash bro. Than Niggas be lying for nigga no hate reason, Dre. bro. Nigga hate Dre. <laughs> I don't hate Dre. Uh, Niggas just be Dre. lying, bro. Then y'all go dumb down easy, like just make him look like a fucking crackhead, broke nigga at the end yeah, of the at movie. The end of the movie trash. They had that nigga looking like like the nigga was rich as fuck. Was he? Yes. Yeah. yeah he the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that shit. Shout out to Dr. Dre in the Bone Thugs. Bone Thugs is like one of the biggest groups yeah, at the time, bro. And the thing league. is, like, that nigga still was running a label. And it was his label. It was yeah. his label. And he's huh? paying them niggas for weed. What's wrong with that? And he was getting all the money. He was, uh, what's that nigga name? They manager? Jerry Heller. He was oh, doing the same shit. Oh yeah. You know label heads ain't giving you the bread, bro. nigga, like uh TLC so was he broke. Would. Nah, fuck, I mean <laughs> Dr. Dre went crazy. He got M. Yeah, he he got ain't want fifty. You gotta remember. I mean, you gotta remember. No, uh, M got fifty, so that's the same you know, shit. It's he getting broke umbrella. off of and he helped make that slim classic. shady shit. So fifty Rich might be trying. fifty might be number one by the time he done. It's possible. It's, it's possible. Time, I said by the time he's done, because again, 50 you, just started in what, 2000? Yeah, Dre 03. was 80 something. So, like, let this fly in here, Pip. He brought a fly in here. He he just didn't do really a lot in music, though. Mogul oh, wise. Nah. Mogul wise, he I mean, with music, what music was, what like, he got an umbrella. Like, I mean, yeah, I, it, if we go take it there, Jay's in my number one. Jay Z. Oh, as a mogul. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I mean, he yeah, up what? There. He up there? He's not up there. He's number one. Billionaire. So he's number one. Yeah, that's arguable. Argue with me. We doing influence <laughs> right or, now? Influencer mogul. Both. He ain't the biggest. Influence. I ain't gonna say <clears throat> who. I, Dre Jay. got Snoop. Bro. Dre. I said Jay. Jay Jay's not, not. Well, Jay not so I will Kanye, say that influence. Kanye. I Probably. feel like he's the biggest mogul. He's Who the, has Dr. Dre and Flute? Give me five big names, and I'm not saying he don't have them, but give has, me the five big names, and I will give you all the Jays influences. Who has he influenced? So it's different because I'm saying like he's it's going to be different. different. Influence wise, pick the mic up. Influence wise, oh look, that shit sound good as hell. Mm. Uh, influence wise, it's going to be right. different because. Uh, Jay is an artist, so he's influencing people's structure how they structure. But their producers raps should have a better influencer than an artist. So go ahead. No. Yeah. No. As far as I'm saying, like the talent, I guess the talent Dre's work with and like brought up 
Yeah, that's that's say, as far as if, the influence if, I'm talking about. But we talking about just influence Dre on held, how niggas rap and who they want to be like. I think Jay might have that. But as far as the talent he grew, I would say Drake got that. If Snoop, if, if he gave Tupac, Snoop and then Snoop give you a bunch of people and then um, yeah, M M give you a bunch of people. Fifty, fifty give you a bunch. Fifty, of people. yeah, fifty. Like, game. That's what I'm saying. Like if you just look at the tree M, of all the niggas that's on that tree, Ice Cube, Easy. I'm not gonna say Ice Cube, but yes. you gotta say Ice you gotta say Ice. I feel like they're together. No, but it's still there's no Dre without Ice Cube at the beginning. Yeah, but still there, he still is still part of his history. Yeah, like like Ice Cube keep going. Yeah, like you can't if Ice Cube wasn't there, the nigga. DLC was gonna be right and everything. No, so not you're a saying without Ice Cube, he wouldn't. I'm going it. with Jay as number one mogul. Give me, give me who. What influence? You said mogul wise. Both. I can go with mogul. I'm going with both still. He's still not. Give me the influence. influence. Niggas don't try to um, rap like Kanye, that. I feel like Lil Kanye. Wayne's a bigger Meek influence, Mill. like than Jay Z. Who? What? Like if you talk about music, Lil Wayne's a bigger influence than Jay Z, man. Niggas can't rap like Jay Z. They can't. There's nobody that you was like, oh, this nigga stole this or that from Jay Z. There's like very few. There's like a handful Niggas of artists. Niggas can't do I mean, it. Everybody want to be one. Exactly, so right. he's more influential. It's easier. I mean, it's Wayne like, probably my number one, probably rap that's wise. What, that's so. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You just said it was Jay. <laughs> no, but I did. It, it's I said it, I would it, put Jay over Dre. You said he would be number. But one. as far as so, but you. you could influence me, but I don't have to be. I don't have to rap. Like I don't have you. to rap like you to get influenced by you. Mm. But if you do, Wayne rap like is influenced somebody, it's, by it's Jay. A bigger, it's a yeah, bigger, that's a fact. That that's cool. But but y'all just brought up Snoop and M let me come to bring up. Why y'all niggas keep cutting me off, bro? bro let you me get my question, bag, bro. nigga. Go ahead, let bro. me get my bag, nigga. Go ahead. All right, get the Look. fuck out of here. Remember, <laughs> you shouldn't be saying getting your fucking bag. Okay. All right, yeah, that's remember that. Fuck whoever <laughs> said that. <laughs> you shouldn't it's be true. saying that. Yeah, but continue, me. sir. But no, listen. Jay Z influenced Lil Wayne. Mm-hmm. True, but you can't say Jay Z sound like Lil Wayne. There's a lot of motherfuckers that sound just like Lil Wayne, or have taken his like whole subject matter, has taken like the face test, the codeine, all of that shit. The whole packaging has been more influential. Jay, like I said, he a next level goat. You know what I'm saying? Like definitely one of the best rappers. But even with him, if He's taking Biggie lines and shit like that. Who was he mm-hmm. influenced by? Big. Yeah, so, yeah, we influence each other, but when certain things stick out about an artist more, mm-hmm. I look at that. It's a lot of shit, like I be saying, like in like younger artists that just remind me of Wayne. Like, and it ain't even just like how niggas rap. It be like how niggas try to carry themselves and whole oh, shit. It's just like they his son. Look at these niggas. Look at like a Uzi or something like that. Like you don't get no Wayne vibes from that shit. They all are Wayne. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So that's why I feel like he's probably. What's your the argument most, right now? Oh, you I'm saying, saying he's is... the most influential out of anybody. Like I think mm. he's more influential than Jay Z. I don't know. Even though Jay Z is like, I feel like the greatest. You could be the greatest and still not the most influential. So, <clears throat> well, it's different now. Niggas don't I mean, even care about having skill no more. So he could be the most influential. All you gotta do is get dreads and wear tight ass. And pants it's crazy and to hear eat. Wayne even say that. Like he just was on a podcast and he was saying something like, "It's cool to see that you don't have to put hard work." I think it, it might have been some trolling <laughs> cool going on. You don't have to put in hard. Work. <laughs> that might have been so that might have flew over my head right there. <laughs> what do you say? It, it's cool that you don't have to put in no hard work. For music these days, you could just <laughs> get a nice beat and you'd be good. There might have been some trolling going on, man. Yeah, well. I'll be thinking about rapping every now and then. I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, I might get back in the booth. Jay ain't hit salon, so he got points up on Dr. Dre. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Because he was whooping, uh, what's her name, Woo? 
Steve Something Barnes, Michelet. in my heart. Oh, Michelet. Jeesh. <laughs> Do we want to go there? Yo, Mogul. I seen that. <laughs> influencer. I seen that movie. Who is he influenced by? Ike Turner. Get your Grammy, Dr. Man, Dre. Shout out to Dr. Dre, man. <laughs> shout doing, out to you. Keep doing good stuff. Keep man. being women. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> See who Spooty looks up to. <laughs> hey, I didn't say all that. Oh. Oh, I know y'all probably don't want to fuck with this, but I got to bring it up because this can lead to a self topic. All right, the little fizz and Omarion shit. Let's go. How do y'all niggas feel about that? Uh, if y'all know uh, the April chick, hold on. Let Crack talk about it because Crack is a uh, you he, know about he, it. He watches you know Love and Hip Hop. You watch Love and Hip Hop since I am, season I am one. The Love and Hip Hop so, guy. In so the April chick. So she really, they really are like in that bitch yeah, going crazy. You. They, they a thing. thing. Yeah. What's a thing? They 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 fucking. They fucking. Is that least. it? Let's make it a thing. Man. Is that it? I don't know. Oh, are they, are they, they, they 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 acting like they together, man. There we go. They they yeah. having they having lunches, dinners. They live together, correct? This fucking farm. Yeah, they they, they live they together. together. Nah, they live yeah. together. You know what I'm saying? Jeez. This nigga, I guess for the next episode, love, he's gonna love ask and hip hop some, Airbnb. some crazy shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Really trying to get with it. <laughs> the love and hip hop Airbnb <laughs> going crazy. Because that's not their homes. That's they need to stop. Of course not. But uh, they they out on vacation right now. Uh, oh. Um, them people. Uh, the cast. They oh. out there. That's when you know things that happen. Mm. Uh, pictures were released on the internet. Mm. It was a pretty big situation on Love and Hip Hop. Let's get the entire to it, episode revolved around it. Let me go live. It's insane. Oh yeah, we need so. Just from your nigga Fizz. Y- your, Fizz your point of view, blooded though, man. Look, how does that pan out with as far as Omarion goes? Like, what, what the fuck? That like, crazy, how do you? Bro. I would have pulled up on dog. I, yeah, know. I, don't, I don't like I don't, how the Fizz is downplaying their relationship. Yeah. Bro, that like, shit is what, the craziest so, shit. Tell me about that. So what's he, going on with that? He's very much denying like they was even cool. They was even like anything. <laughs> that like, shit is weird anything. as fuck. I thought they were cousins, right? No, that was a lot. Yeah. Brothers, some shit like they even related. Even then, if you're work, you've been with this person since you you were uh, Teenager, you was a kid. Bro. Didn't they get popped by uh, Chris Stokes together? Sheesh. Combo they gotta have Combo some type of bond just off the uh, being a victim good. alone. <laughs> Just off. Let's not bring Raz B into this shit, okay? Everybody relax. So they didn't get popped together. That ain't that ain't that ain't the T around this bitch. Okay, my bad. I'm not gonna be here. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was the shit. My bad. I'm misinformed. Mm. Can you uh, keep going, but, crack? Uh, basically, yeah, Jeez. man. Um, they were denying things until um they were intruded upon by <laughs> cast member named Zell. Uh, Zell took photos. Oh, it's a little Zell, messy. Zell took photos. Um, took them to Jason Lee of Hollywood Unlocked. Oh my Tusty. gosh. <laughs> Went all over the internet. That little messy Tusty. bitch. <laughs> Jason I Lee. I hate that nigga, dog. Yeah, you know. Uh, yeah, spread like wildfire, buddy. So, is know, it okay? Yeah, um, at this point in time, we still haven't heard uh, words from Omarion. We don't know his thoughts on this matter. Uh, we are still waiting. The love and hip hop watching public. Is this publicity or is this real? I, I would, I would. Uh, it's real. I would hope Fuck that it. this was real. I don't real think so, bro. This she, nigga got kids involved. She talking about this the best I ever had in my life and all this lame I shit. I mean, you, like, think, you think this nigga would let her do that with the kids out there? Like these. So kids, they got ki- these kids. Hold on, exist. hold on. Omarion and April have kids. If not, that's not, his baby mom. Yeah, two of them. Thank you, Pebbles. There's a family too. Dog, I, that just <laughs> yeah. added like so much to this yeah. shit. I did not know that, bro. And this used to that's be his Uncle baby Fizz. Mama. Yeah, that's this Uncle is, Fizz. This is Uncle Fizz. They was in a season together. He went to him to put the fucking tour together. That's what I'm saying. Like, but now you're trying to downplay and say, "Oh, we wasn't that cool." I mean, oh, acting weird. Oh, it's acting not even weird. Really Cause you fucking my my. Yo. Uh huh. <laughs> what you say now? Ch- what you say now, Chuck? Fucking my, the mother Dog, of my two children. Kids? So Uncle Fizz is. I'm gonna keep this, it real, bro. Um, I would have pulled up on him. It's a, it'd be a lot of shit. Like if you're not my like my woman, like my 
it's just all certain shit off. I wouldn't fuck with none of my niggas' baby mamas, but it's like if one of your whatever, like it happens. Look, I don't tell you not like with this. the not but with, with Uncle Fit. Yeah, Uncle, that's what I'm saying. Like Fitt, relationships be different. In nigga relationships was in a different. boy band together. And it's it's a lot of time they are, that you spend, they are currently spend, in a boy band together no, it's, it's, right now. It's, you guys are a boy you're a boy band group right now y'all on tour was, immature is getting back together uh <laughs> they are though how y'all feel y'all not saying shit man ray What's j up? and marcus I'm, houston was about to fight <laughs> this nigga stupid <laughs> no i would have pulled up on dog like that like Niggas i wouldn't i want no smoke or i would have um i don't know too. like fizz would have had a I don't know if I would send no wrong, text. Bro. I wouldn't send him no text messages and shit because I think they would have recorded. He would have snapshot him. Like he I don't know how I would have did like, it, but I would have pulled up somehow, some way. Like that happened for sure. Tell y'all niggas like, about Fizz, bro, because he was on another reality TV show. Oh my goodness, listen, that nigga is listen, broke. Listen, let me <laughs> no, let me tell you something. Let me tell you what that show nigga this like he was. on some drugs. Let for me sure. tell you what show this was. It was Marriage Boot Camp. He was on Marriage Boot Camp. With a random uh stripper that was what? on a previous season love of Love and Hip Hop. He brought he brought this bitch. Troll man, troll man, yeah, that's him. That's messy crack diesel. No, I, think I like he it. He brought her. He brought her to the show and <laughs> kept her on the show and basically like really mentally abused her the entire time I by telling <laughs> telling her that. like we'll never be together yeah. we were just friends yeah. like I don't, the understand. Fuck out of her. I, I don't even understand i don't understand i was like yo bro like you brought her here you're the celebrity he's broke and need attention well, out of yeah. all the women when in I, the world you decide to pick when i seen that i knew that nigga was a different type of nigga he man. is bro he's a lame so ass. can your man do that what <laughs> can your man can your man i'm talking to crack because he ain't answered he no. he didn't really say if he fuck with dog he said say he pulling up or not so can can your can uncle tommy nigga i'm married hit, with kids i'm saying like come on like okay. you know you know exactly. all right after that after that y'all divorce like, y'all divorce look divorce no! you, you happily married again whatever this, the case may be we don't have to go no further because there's like this is why it's an issue because even beyond anything like if if i've been with you you're my friend you're and my friend you're my friend since what 2000 1999 98 whatever and i have a relationship with a woman and i have kids like we have kids and we split up on bad terms and then my homie decides Hey, this woman that you split up on bad terms with and that you got kids with, yo, let me fuck with her. It's too many women for that to ever. My thing is like a. Go ahead, my bad. No, th there's nothing more to be said. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so what is okay? So what is okay for uh, Uncle Fizz to hit? What what? You gotta, you gotta stay outside of stay outside of that. Like that's what I'm saying. It's too many women. Like you don't have. All that intermingling and shit. So Lil Breezy from the club, he probably picked up like two weeks ago and shit. Yeah, That's she's she, available. She fine. She yeah, fine. like she's if it's just a random, yeah. like okay. yeah, if it's a random, but this on the rent, like they got two kids and like they was. They was on Love and Hip Hop My, together. It's a self, like, it's a they, self, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Omariana oh, oh, yeah. and April was on a season together. Two seasons. That's what I'm saying. Like it, this is not. That's what I'm saying. Like you can't ask nobody. This shit is turning into the fucking X Files. Mind. Niggas not even thinking. This shit about is the getting kids, gruesome, though, bro. That's why. That's why the shit's so selfish. Too, this shit gruesome, that's what I'm right? saying, bro. And this is all public record. Like niggas is seeing this. Niggas DVR this shit. Like this <laughs> is shit. This shit, shit is getting sick. <laughs> it's out here. It's like out here. Yeah, fam. This shit getting sick. I didn't even I know. know. This, I didn't know it was this deep. And and God bless all of these children God that's bless. coming up, like in this era Bro, where like the they, they parents, is crazy. they parents be on reality TV and then they grow up and they think that shit is how it's supposed to be. Not even just that, but they hear shit, shit from the niggas that they going to school with about what their parents doing. Oh no, that's like, a fact. For a whole season, like so. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. Like niggas, nigga, your mama fucking your daddy, daddy best friend. Right, like niggas gotta. Bitch, bitch. 
bomb drop. Yeah, the bitch after that too. That's a fact. That shit fucked up, bro. So that shit is yeah, major fucked kids, up. So Omarion, you owe that nigga. You got to get that nigga the hands. No, That's hold up, man. Hold, whoa, whoa, whoa. Some hands. of this energy needs to go to her ass, sir. He got to get. He can't give her the hands, huh? He can't give her the hands. Why not? <laughs> Okay, doc, okay, Doctor Dre. That's a fact. <laughs> no, nah, Dre was whooping okay, ass Dre. for no reason. Okay, Dr. this Dr. is Dre, a reason. You just, uh, you you just, just on Doctor Dre. Now you, you want, eight. now you want him to yeah, beat some ass. This is a, this like, is no, a different ass, topic. Nigga. No, it is. Kind of this is a different topic, <laughs> sir. It should that should remind me of the family that prays, like one of my favorite movies and shit. When that nigga, it wasn't her son. <laughs> Bitch, that's my favorite. One of my favorite movies. <laughs> it is. It is though. The Go lady ahead. reminds me of my mother. Fuck you, bitch. All right, my bad. Yeah, thank you. This is a sad show today, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, Don't but wait, wait. He slapped old girl over the table. So annihilate them. <laughs> you remember that shit? My son is. What she say? My son is Cartwright. He slapped the shit out of her ass. That's what he, that's what Fizz need to fucking do. Slap her across the fucking table. Okay, that's Dre. Excusable. Bring that draw. No, no. <laughs> you said beat her Dre ass. Out. A slap. It, I you said know. put her in the wall. He didn't hit her. <laughs> Just like put her in the wall. <laughs> put her in the wall. Oh my lord. Yeah. So Omarion, <laughs> pull up on that nigga and and that chick. Yeah, that shit just April. It's one of the craziest situations. And you can't trust a girl nigga, named April anymore. I think Lil Fizz might right. be a sociopath, bro. Like this nigga because he really is at the like, yo, this shit just is regular. What is his baby mama doing? Uh, yo, she's surprised off she her shit too. Like, nobody yeah, yeah. No, she was about this. <laughs> shit. I'm so I'm so Let surprised. Let me continue to yeah. report on this last episode. Okay, let's go. Uh, love hip hop. <laughs> But yeah, there came a point in time where <laughs> <laughs> this news was exposed to the public mm. and Monique Slaughter. Oh, this nigga foul. I didn't even see the. the uh, I didn't even at, see the. We're, the, we're the looking at some little <laughs> content. <laughs> that nigga posted the picture be saying his ass beat, on bro. the phone with your BM in oh, my fashion man. Nova. Oh, oh buddy. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Oh, buddy. This boy's a motherfucking dog. Hey, oh, shout out to all the ladies that wanted this P2K shit. You see what you did to you all the niggas. You know what's fucked niggas. up, bro? Man, fault. I ain't even gonna take it there, bro. Oh, buddy. Well, you heard, you heard what happened today, right? Damn. Oh, I buddy. I put you here. And it's shit like that. <laughs> why that, why niggas act like it's, yeah, that shit trash. Oh, buddy. He gotta go. <laughs> You gotta go. I'm not even a violent hey, type of person, bro. Shout out to Pebbles for the tea, man. Pebbles gave you that tea up. That? Pebbles gave oh, the tea up. fucking you over. Woo, she tried to take your job. Nah. Damn. Shout out to Damn. Pebbles for the tea, man. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. You gotta go. Fuck. So we, we on the topic of shows and so shit like that. We, I'm on fire right now, boy. That That's sick right there. Oh, Can we? My. Has everybody seen Power? Yes. yes, sir. Oh, yes. We all seen it. We all seen it today. Oh, shit. It's crazy. It's crazy. I, I had to do the uh, free trial of stars <laughs> <laughs> for the day because I, I, I knew niggas was going to be on tip for this one. I thought it was the last episode. So I'm like, I got to watch it before we, we hop on. Somebody this fucked today. it up that, for that me last night, though. Lunch. That was the first time that shit ever happened to me, though. Which niggas, mean? I don't know how, but niggas was on Facebook at 1230 saying, what the fuck happened? Oh, I'm crazy. like, what I the see fuck nothing. are y'all doing? I didn't see nothing. So. What you gotta say? It's not the last episode, though. I think, right? It's January fifth. Come back on mid season. They got a fucking uh, mid season. January. That shit hurt 5th? my heart when this nigga just told me that shit. I was waiting for next week to go crazy. Um, January fifth. Come back on. <laughs> so, uh, um, I like the episode. Oh, I was telling Smoothie like I ain't like the writing, but I like the episode if that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, I've I've been off the. This is what I've been the talking writeness. about. The show is trash. Right. Like the writing is really bad. But I've been the watching. The episode was good. Though. You know what I'm saying a lot of shit. Nothing can down. stop me. <laughs> Dog. He said that shit ten yo, times through a whole episode. Yo, this nigga Ghost was going in on everybody. That's how I knew this. You nigga a piece of shit. Yeah, this you nigga a piece was, of shit. The fact that you <laughs> got ten niggas walking to truth at one time. That oh, shit look like the beat it video, nigga. I'm That's like, what the <laughs> fuck going on, nigga? <laughs> well, do it live. <laughs> yeah, I was sick. Do it live. The, the writing was a little poor. Yeah, um, man. But no, I was, I was definitely glued to this shit. Yeah. Bro, like, get over yeah, this nigga. Yeah, I was, I was shocked about that. I wasn't. I knew, bro, because she not just gonna be acting all fucking. That's crazy what all anymore. her actions have been about. It's like, been about it's him. Just been about her. him. She's fucking multiple niggas because. That's what people be even missing. Like, it's not hard to see. Like, it's yeah. it's 
all ghosts. Oh, that's why I said I was glad shit. they showed it. I was hyped when he was like. My my favorite part was the police, uh, the little investigation, how that was going. That shit on was fire. How, how that shit was going. That, shit was, that was fucking fire. How my man's, I forgot his name, with Warner. The niggas just shutting down shit like, no, yeah. dumb fuck. How did this happen? Like that, that shit was lit. Like the writing on that was very, And then very, even her telling great. everybody like, he ain't going to jail. <laughs> like it's over. We can't fuck with this nigga dog. Like, yeah, so. But it show how cops turn dirty though, boy. When they about to yeah. lose their job, they don't give a fuck. They gonna do what they gotta do. Yeah, that makes yeah. make sense. Yeah, especially old, old girl. Shout out, out to old girl wig. She didn't turned it up. What's oh, the black oh, lady yeah. name? She didn't got her a new fucking wig. That shit was tired as hell. The old first girl, half old of the girl season. From, uh, Chappelle show. That's like, Nick. She don't like uh, niggas playing on. She the done phone. upgraded, nigga. She went to a new bureau, or whatever the fuck, and got 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 slayed for sure, for sure. That's the fuck. But uh, yeah, the episode. So who who who, who killed the nigga or who shot him? I, I hope he ain't dead. I hope I'm, the nigga ain't dead, but I think it's hard to survive. You get a, shot and laying on the ground. That nigga yeah, my wife the chest, talked about man. that. I, th- I think that nigga dead. Uh, and I think he got shot in the heart. It looked like it was on the side of his heart. Was So, I don't think that. If they do that him. shit, like, I, I think I'm going to be kind of pissed off. If they keep him alive? Yeah, because That's then, what I said, too. I said he got to go. No, you just did that shit to make sure niggas came back to the. I feel like he got to go. Yeah, he got to go, bro. Like, it's I, too if, fake to keep him. Yeah. Especially if you gon' if you gonna put a trigger on that shit, like nigga, like make it make it happen. Make it hit. Yeah, like make it happen for real. Let's Otherwise, see these motherfuckers survive without them. Yeah. Y'all want them gone so bad. Let's see how y'all lives go after this uh, shit. as far as who killed them, I wouldn't be surprised if it was Tariq and then the nigga end up in like the power book two shit and they use that shit to spin. I, I won't watch it if it's Tariq. I hope not. I mean, I hope not, but even like all the options are trash. <laughs> yeah, all the options are really trash. Like, I, I like don't really, get why because w- all of these motherfuckers had a chance to kill this nigga at any point in time. So, so why, like, I know it ain't Tommy specific. Time? I don't think it should be Tommy. I don't think. It I think be. he. No, they can't. And the it, fact that he didn't I'll kill it, pissed. he know he didn't kill the Keisha. Like, come on now. So pissed off if they they had this ghost versus Tommy shit this whole entire time, and. Tried to build it up like Tommy was going to kill Ghost, and then once Ghost died, he do it off camera like that shit. Yeah, that shit. Weird. No, they go. They definitely go show it. They I gonna think. show like the little yeah. rewind shit, but I mean, like, I hope it's Tasha, bro. I ain't gonna lie. These are all just bad options. It she is bad been, options. She could have been shot this nigga. Like that's what I'm saying. I like, just hope it ain't she, sex. I do too. I really hope it ain't him because I want Tommy to kill that nigga bad. Yeah, and I bad. just don't want I just don't want the white guy like to, to win be the one who killed like Go crazy. him. Talk that racist shit. You yeah, know what the most I, disappointing I, part is? Fuck, yeah, I don't want the white. <laughs> you know the, the disappointing part? Killing. Go crazy. He was just about to get some ass. Fact. He was just oh about to God. get some he didn't fucking get no ass, ass for the first this season. Time. Dog, he said, oh. "I got some cleaning." Why are these niggas letting your cl- get inside your club? Where the security at? You just got the open door policy. That's a fact. Come on, man. Nobody getting searched down. That's the part I don't like. So I think how they was playing it was Tariq still in the club. That's what it kind of. No, he walked out. He walked out. So where was he? Like, I seen everybody else. It kind of seemed like they was, he was outside. Going, it looked like Tariq was going somewhere else. In the subway yeah. type shit. Okay, okay. Yeah. I, I didn't know if that was the stairs or truth. I, I don't know. But remember. they can fuck us up on some shit like Tariq did it and got the fuck on type shit. Mm-hmm. We don't know that. Oh, like that's after. Yeah, yeah that's true. Even uh-huh. though they framed everybody walking at the same point, I'm yeah. sure they're gonna do some shit like it was at different because they got times the female like cop going to the club mm-hmm. when she heard it. Like they only got her hearing it, and then niggas gotta have alibis and shit. If the well, if the show cares, I, I want to know what that phone call about though. What phone call? He hit dog up like, "Hey, I need you to do this favor for me. I got this cheese for you." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to know. My what's man, the Ghost uh, did that. You talking about? Uh, uh, when the Tommy the Italian, uh, oh Italian. yeah, 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 yeah. No, the Italian nigga was to get the cell phone in there, but when he hit Tommy people up, that's in oh there. okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what killed Dre. Nah, I don't think. Probably because Dre got out that bitch too fast. I still don't know. That'd be a waste of a uh, of it happening. of a scene for real. Like, 
Oh, uh, Dre was one of the. It could have been on some shit because if that's the case, it could have been on some shit like, oh, he he on the way to do it, and then he got out, but like it was just nothing. Yeah, they even show. Yeah, that's true. I don't it, know. It's Fuck gonna, these writers, bro. It's gonna be gonna be underwhelming either way because either I think fifty. Like, none of this shit makes sense. <laughs> I think fifty been uh, pretty heavy into the to the, the script. Writer. I think. I think. I don't know. I don't mm-hmm. know, man. Like, but this season massage ain't. people down there and shit. It really uh happy end is going on though. Like there. I said, power still <laughs> power really ain't hit for me since like season. Three. Oh no, I enjoy like, this season. Season three, it's pretty cool. You I know, mean, I'm talking it, about when it was its best. Yeah, no, that's it's, it's, it, they they forcing they forcing um they forcing the issue on certain shit. Free my nigga spanky, they bro. forcing agendas. Free spanky. Even with that shit, uh, you know what I mean. You still got my watch, nigga. So what? So what? Two bit about the. <laughs> you still got my That's watch, nigga. About. So two bit about the kill Dre. You don't think so? Dre Man, out. Dre out. He's on the way to kill him too. They ain't get Dre at the end of that. Dre was walking. Oh out. shit! Yeah. He uh he did okay. the Terry Silver shit, but like my thing okay. is all this time you knew where Terry Silver was at, Sasha. Come on, this whole time. What the fuck like, is Sasha? Tasha. Oh, okay. You knew where Terry Silver was at this whole fucking time, bro. Yeah, she know. I know, but then they fuck it, there. But she just ain't tell nobody. Like, like yeah, that's what they was she, fucking she, at. She was saying, "Ghost, have you killed this nigga or not?" Yeah, they got it. Now she like, if he was to kill somebody, it'd be at this car and this right here. Like, bitch, like all this whole time. I weak as fuck. Bro. I fucking hate. I hate. You see how she walked away in the house? She can't even walk in them hills. She was walking in trash. Yeah, she was get some different. Get some different hills on set. No some shit you can walk sick, in. My nigga Ghost ain't getting no ass this season. That's bro. This sick, man. Crazy. They some sick niggas. And let Lorenz Tate bitch ass get all the action this fucking nigga season. Got that, hey. Yo, nigga, I hey. wonder what he was oh, gonna girl. say uh, when he approached Ghost. He was gonna tell him about the cop shit. You think oh, so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, that's a fact. Yeah, he was gonna let him know. He was gonna give him a heads up. But then he started talking Ghost shit. Ghost is in his yeah, bag. Ghost, hey. I, I think it goes, Shut your loser ass up. That's why oh, I yeah. just, I just knew loser. something bad was going on. Yeah, they 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 forced it, bro. You, I'm telling you, they because he, he was getting off too much. He was smiling he was all going during the episode. Crazy, bro. About to fuck uh, in the Angela lamest ghost, way. The ghost version of Angela. He's about to fuck her. Like, how you about to <laughs> fuck a ghost? Go he crazy. laying his head on. I have some ghost pussy. Before. That's the that's a, a scary Brown movie shit. too. That's a <laughs> <laughs> scary movie too, nigga. What the fuck you talking about? Ghost pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that movie Ghost about that? <laughs> that what the fuck is talking about? Oh my! <laughs> I'm sick. Shout out to the ghost lovers out Shout there. Shout out to the ghost uh, busters. Uh, what up? Shout out to the ghost busters. Yeah, I was a ghost buster with my son for uh, Halloween. What are you I talking about the female son. version? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not the female version. We gonna leave the females. Oh, on. let's speak about the Halloween shit. How did Halloween go this this year? Who who had the best costume? I did. <sighs> this nigga had on his girl boots. You just look like a nigga. <laughs> this nigga had on his girl boots. I was so. just look like a fly nigga. I was like, nigga lord. I'm just a fly nigga. <laughs> Quavo killed everybody. That's a fact. Quavo and Sweetie. So, what's her name? Sweetie? How's it Sweetie with a S A W? It sounds like Saudi. 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 So Saudi. So, so, so weak. I've been trying so to be two faced for like five years. Yeah, he snapped with that bitch. Uh, La La snap. You gonna need some real like <laughs> artwork you know, for yeah, that bitch. Man. La La snap. She died from power and then leveled up. Shout out to her. Um, who else? My thing is like people hype off of D. They rich. That's a fact. They're supposed to be go crazy. Go crazy. They say, can like, afford yeah. the shit. Yeah. Nigga, you. Janelle Monae went crazy. I ain't even giving like the real. She niggas. went fucking crazy. You seen Janelle, Janelle Monae shit? shit? She went crazy. Who was she? she had the best one to me. Janelle Monae. Uh, who who uh, did she dress up as? I don't know. It's a fucking headless. Oh, shit. You seen it? Let me see. Headless horseman shit. Yeah, that shit was fire, bro. She To me, she like her and Quavo won hands down. Old girl, too. The little sweetie chick. Oh, she was just fine as hell. Okay, yeah, that well, shit's scary right. as that's, fuck. That's pretty good. So, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I just seen better Harleys for sure. Look. Yeah, fuck that. She that's, won. That shit's scary. Yeah, she won, period. Yeah, see, like, I give props for that type of shit, but niggas, like, dressing up and like I, That's what I said, like, like she just, shit. Sweetie was just fine, bad as fuck, <laughs> and the Harley fit. Like, I just seen better Harleys shit. 
uh-huh. actual costume, like that shit. And then, like I said, Quavo actually had to get that shit done up the right. So I seen a weekend dressed up as Joker. And that shit look crazy. I didn't see that shit. That shit look crazy. Fuck the weekend. Uh, that nigga weekend used to make good music, man. He used to. Yeah, man. House, House of Balloons. That's my shit. I was Anybody little, else? I was a little it. sad about my Halloween. I didn't get my son a Halloween costume. Loser. 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 So I was a little disappointed, but um, next year we bouncing back. You know what I mean? So I'm a plan ahead ahead of time. Mario was Pikachu. Shit, it's Vegeta. Just tough right yeah, now. We we was on our Ghostbuster shit. You know. Oh shit! Dre, Dre about to have a baby. Shout out to Dre. Another baby on the way. Congratulations. Go crazy. Dre who? Yo shit. Oh, rap. Good shit, Dre. Have all the kids you need. So where we at with it? No, I'm done. <laughs> we we done. Hey, hey. hey. I, I would never. Cast business, nigga. Hey, I would never have another one. Okay. Oh, I thought you yeah. were talking about the show, nigga. You know oh no, oh, I would yeah. never. I would never have another kid. Oh. Maya Solo around all this right. bitch. Like, she been around for like months, nigga. Like, yeah, I nigga. know. I have to see the future. <laughs> <laughs> And it's not leading into that direction. Raven Simone in this bitch. Combo breaker. <laughs> yeah. Waiting on Spring Hill. Yeah. Yeah. What? Kids are beautiful. For the uh, next topic. For the next topic. Oh, we done. Oh man, we ain't even at the two hour mark, man. So Look y'all ain't hear that. <laughs> so y'all didn't hear the Eminem and Join the Lucas song. <laughs> <laughs> you suck. I need to hear some bars from it. Tell bro. us about. Go ahead, play it. Dude, look pull the miles, put the miles on real quick, man. I'm, I'm just very confused, bro. Like I'm just like that's on the the topic list. No, it wasn't. I was surprised it wasn't. Oh, so that was a shot to slaps. You saying? <laughs> no, yes, shout out to was. slaps because Come he put on us together. Breaker. He put us together. No, I'm saying because um, he was like he like talking about that type no. of shit. <laughs> Ain't that what you said? <laughs> Then he say some shit like that, bro. I what? for sure did not say that shit, bro. We I was just saying I'm won. surprised this nigga didn't bring this up. We supposed to talk about the bag thing too. Come on, we got two topics. The bag. I gotta go in a minute anyway. Nah, uh, I just I, gotta go see my brother in jail. Top, top little uh, criminal activity. Little criminal activity for sure. Typical uh feminine toxicity. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to make niggas feel gay for like no, being God, happy. God, <laughs> like, hey, yeah, I, I feel good about myself. <laughs> no, nah, nigga, you gay. You see, you see what women in 2019 do. Oh my goodness, they make us feel right, bad about feeling good about ourselves. <laughs> like we can't That's feel crazy. good about ourselves. Don't feel good about yourself, bro. All right, you ain't shit, and nobody wants you to be shit. We signing out. What <laughs> 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 the fuck is y'all talking about? The fuck is going on, man? Are you gonna get the point when real trap shit? Real trap shit? Real, 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 real trap shit? Every Yo. time Miles play this song, I get hyped. Yeah. Like, yeah. Sure. No strap, don't get hey, man. Who that? Craig Diesel signing out. Take your boy out. Act James on crack. At Craig Diesel. Search Games on Crack on YouTube and Facebook. We got some things coming for you guys. You video game players. It's gonna be really dope. You'll love it. And this is the motherfucking school operation. School. Signing out, please uh, follow me at H3 Apparel. That's H number two. E apparel, all one word. Get your hey, you see, I got everybody off the Keith Sweat energy, bro. Mr. Kudamon, Mr. Foodie, y'all trying to be Keith Sweat and shit, man. Fuck on. There's Mad Miles, also known as Fresh Ass Goose. Shout out to Urban Kings and Queens. Shout out to Games on Crack and Sportsman Like Conduct. Shout out to all the sponsors in the building. Appreciate y'all. Hey, Foodie, fuck the sponsors. <laughs> I had to do that one last time. And we out, man. This season two, episode five of the Forecast Podcast. Hey, slap. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Bitch. <laughs> 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 <laughs>